Oh, I'm a fool. I forgot. Go back in. Jesus Christ. Here I am trying to move on with the game before I've seen the rest of the story. Which is over here. That was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. I was wondering why the scene didn't trigger at the end of the area there. Oh, what's this Moogle doing? Eh, sure. Let's rest up. Free healing is always a good thing. Continue over here. And here's the... Oh, let's talk to this Moogle. Mog's trying to apologize. Yeah, here's the first time they actually tell you that Mog is a girl. Thing. Mog can't find the right words. Mog has never spoken to us. Anyway, I don't know how well she speaks to Aiko, but... Not until her 16th birthday. When have we heard something like that before? To go with you guys. Yeah, why not? It's not like you'll be any better off stuck here alone as a six-year-old. Ah. Zidane's not as clueless as he looks. Zidane actually is not always... Like, he's always kind of throwing in these deep statements where he seems to understand a lot of what's going on and then the next moment goes back to being carefree and funny. Huh? Aw, Bibi's embarrassed. Straighten his hat. Hmm, shouldn't lie to myself. Ah, take your own advice, huh? Thanks, Bibi. As an earring? Cool! And we get the memory earring. Ah, here comes Mog. Koopa. Koopa. <laughs> Jumping up and down angry. Friends, born on the same day, huh? I'll give it to me. A friendship ribbon, huh? Kapo. <laughs> it just looks so weird rising on the screen like that. Makes sense. Dance with her? What? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> At least the day knows what's up. <laughs> I guess it's, uh... Uh, no. I won't say that. Never mind. Uh, dagger disappeared. Let's go find her. Hmm. Oh. Ah, uh, that explanation mark was just for the treasure chest. No big worries. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, what's this? A song? I'll try and turn the audio up for this part at least in the uh, in the editing so you can hear that song a little better. If I remember anyway. Oh, we've interrupted her song. Our song? Hmm. The betrothed. <laughs> Goes it ain't. The name isn't. <laughs> yeah, well. Yep, a little bit of uh, the Zidane sarcasm seems to have rubbed off on her. Yeah, look at that. A naive princess has done a hell of a lot in two discs, hasn't she?
Yep. And of course, they don't include the earlier um, help that Quinna gave us when we went to um, uh, Bermesia and Clara because that was optional. She didn't need to bring Quinna for that part. Yep. Everyone's been behind us. Well, at least through some parts. <laughs> And we still don't know what the uh, fate of uh, Steiner, Beatrix, and uh, Freya are. Of course, you know. We haven't been able to go back, so we don't know. We're assuming they're alright. Hmm. Then, yeah, that's a very true statement. It's a thing of honor with Freya, and with Beatrix it was her duty, and of course with Steiner it was also his duty. But with Steiner it was and Beatrix as well, it was more them coming into their own and realizing they were protecting who they wanted to protect, not necessarily who they were duty bound to protect. Especially at the end uh, when we went separate ways with them. Um, do you really want him to answer that? <laughs> Ibsen's line. Who's Ibsen? There you go. Character from a play based on a real-life adventure. Hmm. Oh, more story time. Yay. Hey, would you look at that? That's my name. Colin. I'm in this game. Cool. Worked at a tavern. Legible writing. Come back home. Hard to travel. Getting things set on a journey home. Missed, attacked by monsters. But the two made it. And what did he ask? Why'd you come with me? What was my answer? Makes sense. Hey, why'd we get cool music all of a sudden? And why is the boat moving? Ah, oh, crap. Current swept us out. We'll be lost at sea for days. I don't see any paddles and or oars in that boat. Hmm. Something else about a boat happened uh, at some point in this game. Can't remember when. And of course, this music here is also a riff on the theme that uh, Dagger Sea sings. Blech. Huh? Hey, it's gone! Oh, someone else is singing the song. Who's singing that? Sun's on fire. Hmm. What? Whoa. Wait a minute. One of my favorite themes for a cinematic in the game. One of my favorite themes in the game. Oh yeah, that's when we saw the boat last time. The, the, the opening intro movie. So, what's that in the sky? An eye? What the hell? Oh, collapsed. That's not good. Is she gonna be alright? Oh yeah, she's fine, by the way. 
makes sense. Don't need to wake everybody up when somebody passes out. They'll be fine later. Hmm. No memory of early childhood. Only from the age of six. Till she was six. Yes. The great revelation of disc two. Dagger is from Medane Sari. Something's shrouded in fog. Huge hurricane. Hmm. Song. Who was singing that song anyway? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was Aiko singing the song if uh, you didn't, if they weren't clear about it. Yeah. So, a stranded girl with her mother ends up princess. How does that happen? Oh, yeah, and. Even though it's hard to see with Aiko a lot of the time, she does have a horn on her head. Dr. Todd, that's, that would make sense. She died on the boat. Aww. That's harsh. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine that kind of pain. No, oh, she's starting to get a few memories back. Of course, we've already gone over that, but oh well. Yeah, memories come flooding back. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, she's not alone anymore. Makes sense. New party member, well, permanent party member. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have we left to finish? And they're going to go off and pray. Okay. And you're still confused? Return to Alexandria. Then what? <laughs> Phoebe's clueless. <laughs> Yeah, BB always has a long face. Part of his character design. And Mog's coming too. Yay! Whoop whoop! And yay, all the Muggles. They're all gonna stay here. Presumably. Yeah. Okay. And there's Mog disappearing again. Bye bye. Oh. Round two, huh? Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't be able to understand his actions. That's a tough question. Well, just because you lost a fight doesn't mean you can live you will have to live as a beggar. What? I think the name's a little bit high right now. I see. 
he can't explain to this guy why he is like he is, meaning Zidane. So the only way to kind of demonstrate it is for him to experience what Zidane is, what Zidane does firsthand. His only constant is his unpredictability. That's kind of the line for this character. Find out what makes him strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Called you Red, and his name is Amaranth. I don't know if that's his true name or if it's... yeah. The Flaming Amaranth. I'm not sure if that's his true name or just what he's kind of been dubbed since he's like this number one bandit guy. But it works out. Hmm. Decide on marching order. And yes, we finally get a chance to choose characters. Oddly enough, we came back here and Quinnet is nowhere to be found. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but we have new party members. And since Iko still needs to learn a bunch of stuff and both BB and Amaranth do not, or both BB and Dagger do not, uh, and I already have one white mage, I am going to flip Dagger out for Amaranth at this point in the game. So Dagger can stay here and have fun at her newfound home. And we're going to go back to the Aoife tree. But that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This may be split into two parts, I don't know. I don't want to split it up because of the story, but I may have to because it's already running pretty long. Anyway, we'll see in the editing. And yeah, so that's all for this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.